Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create this fitness and nutrition planner in Word. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Layout, go to Margins, click on the drop down, and make sure you're on Narrow. That will give you as much space as possible on the page. So we've got to fit quite a lot on the page. So click Narrow. You see your cursor at the top here. Then go to Insert, Text Box, Click on the drop down and select draw text box. Click and draw out a text box. And then inside this text box, we're going to insert a table. So go to insert, table, click on the drop down. And I'm going to select two columns and five rows and release the mouse. Then I'm just going to grab this central line. You can see my cursor changes to a double headed arrow. Then I'm going to click and just move that over to the side there. Then selecting this top row, I'm going to go to Layout and on the height, I'm just going to change the height to one centimetre and press Enter. And then I'm going to select the remaining four rows, go to Height and make them two centimetres high. Then the top row here, I'm going to select both of them, make sure you're on Layout and merge the cells. And where you can see this sort of greyed out line is where your text will lie. I want it in the middle and the centre. So select this cell here, go to Layout and then click on Centre Align. And then we can put in our text, which is Monday. Then we can select that text, go to Home and just increase the size. You can change your font as well if you want to. Let's change that to this one and then just make that a little bit bigger. And then again, what we're going to do here is I'm actually going to type out the word breakfast, but you'll see I'm going to change the direction of this font in a second. So I'm going to show you how to add a row. So if you've made a mistake, select the final row, go to layout and go to insert below. There we go, and in this one, we're going to type exercise. And we're just going to select everything in this column. Then we're going to go to layout. Then we're going to go to cell direction and just click on this icon until the words are in the direction that you want to go. Then I'm going to select this icon, which is align to center left. And then you can see breakfast doesn't quite fit. So I'm going to go to home. I'm going to reduce the size of my font until breakfast fits in that cell there. Perfect. Now just to make some final adjustments, I'm going to put a line, a thicker line here to allow us to distinguish between the food aspect and the exercise aspect here. So I'm just going to select those two rows. I'm going to go to table design. I'm going to go to the border line here and then I'm going to click down to two and a quarter points. And then on the borders, I'm going to click on the drop down and I'm going to click on the top border and make that line a bit thicker there. Then on the top, I'm going to get rid of the border line around Monday. So I'm going to select or put my cursor in this cell, go to borders. I'm going to switch off the top border. So if that happens and the top border goes thicker, just click on it again and it will disappear. Again, the left border, that's gone thicker and click on it again, it will disappear. And right border twice and it will disappear. And then if you deselect it, you'll see there's a line going around the outside of this table. You can keep it if you want to, but I'm going to get rid of it. So select it, go to shape format, Go to this icon here, which is Shape Outline, and click No Outline. And then when you deselect it, you can see that outline has disappeared. So now this is in a text box, all we need to do is copy and paste it. So the width of this table will be determined by how many of these you can get across the page. So if I copy and paste this, select it, hold down the Alt or Option key, and then drag out another one. And as they're both selected, do exactly the same. Hold the Alt or Option key down, click and drag. And you can say, see, they all fit beautifully across the page. Now, once you've done that, select them all by holding down your Command or Control key. Go to Align, 
go down to distribute horizontally and that will mean they've got an equal space between them all and then align to top which will perfectly align them and then as they're all selected all you need to do is to hold down your alt or option key click and drag out another set now all we need to do is to go along and change all the days so just click back into the top of your table i'm going to leave the first one for notes and i'm just going to change all of my days okay so this top one here we can just make this into notes just change the wording at the top then if you want to, you can simply merge these together. So select them, go to layout and click merge cells. We can do this all the way along. Then select all of the rows, change the direction of the text, or you can just delete the text, go to cut and it will delete the text. Don't press delete because it will delete the whole table. You can change this line here, this big line here, so select these two cells, go to table design, change the width again to one and a half points, go to borders and select inside horizontal border. Perfect. So now I'm going to group everything together. Just hold down your command or control key and click on everything. Now you can see it might not be perfectly lined up the top and bottom. So let's First of all, group the top bit, go to shape format, click group and select group. Then click on all the bottom ones, go to group and select group. Now, once this group at the bottom is selected, go to align and click align to center and that will center it in the center of the page. And then click the top group, align to center. They're now both perfectly lined up. So if I click on both of them, holding down my command or control key, and click and select group for everything. And now you can see I've grouped everything. Again, go to align, align to center. And then you can just use your arrow keys to move them up or down to choose where you want to place them. Now we'll go to the title. I'm going to insert a text box again rather than just typing it out. It just gives me a bit more flexibility on where to place my words. I'm now going to format this text, go to the home tab. I'm going to change my font to Bellania, increase the size of it. I'm going to change my font actually to capitalize each word and then increase the size of my font. And I'm just going to change this and in the middle to the symbol. There we go. Then I'm going to center all of my text, select it and click on this center text icon. Then go to shape format and center the actual text into the center of the page. There we go. Deselect it. You can see again we've got this borderline. So select the text box and go to no outline. And then you can place this wherever you want to, just using your arrow keys. Now you've centered it. And then if you just want to put a line in underneath, go to insert, shapes, click on the drop down and select a line. Then click, hold down shift key and you'll be given a perfectly horizontal line. Once that line comes up, go to shape format, go along to format pane. Then you can change the color of your line down here. If you can't see line, then just click on this drop down that says line. Go down, I'm going to click on black and the width of my line I'm going to increase. I'm just going to click the up arrow. Just keep watching my line to see when I'm happy. And then quickly just go to align, align to center to make sure that that's centered into my page. Perfect, so once you're happy with this, you can go ahead and save it as a Word document or you can go to file, you can save it as a template or if you just click on save as, you can go down to this icon here, file format and click on PDF. Now, if you can't be bothered to do this all yourself, there will be a link below where you can download this file. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.
Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create this fitness and nutrition planner in Word. 